Okay, um, I have some domestic beetles coming today, and I just wanted to make a video of what I have for them before they come. So, it looks kind of, you know, this was an incubator, and then I turned it into a brooder box, and then I turned it into for the beetles. So, it, you know, it's gone through a lot. But um, I have right here on a switch, there's two light bulbs. There's one right there and one back there. This one is this one light bulb right here. And that is just so, say if it's 100 degrees out, the shop in here is, you know, 80. And I don't want them to fly. I can turn that switch off. And you can see that it gets to about 85, 86 in here with both the light bulbs on. That might be a little high. So I might have to change out the watts, a lower wattage, or turn off that one bulb. And then I have a fan right here. And I just took this out of a little desktop fan and put it on right there. And it, it's plenty of airflow. You don't need much. But um, I drilled a big hole right here and have some screen door mesh. Two of them right there. And there's just a lot of holes from the incubator, like right here is where the thermostat went. Um, I drilled a lot of holes for the brooder box because I didn't want the little chicks to get too hot. Covered those all with the screen door mesh, as you can tell. I cut a little square, I stapled two sides, put hot glue around, you know, like squeezed the hot glue through the mesh, and I put two more staples. And that's plenty. I just, it doesn't look nice. I don't really care. I'm going to make a better one for them. But, um, yeah. And then for all these holes up here, I just did one big thing of screen all the way around. Put a piece of duct tape, stapled, um, and that's all good. And I put a thing of foil tape all the way around. I wish I didn't have to get all these wrinkles in here, but this should stop them at least a little bit for you know so they don't climb all the way up but I'm gonna make another one out of wood and plexiglass and I'm gonna sand it all down and make it all nice so that one will be in future videos but um I just have these two boxes right here this one you know to put meat under and then this one also to put some meat under and I have a piece of cardboard right there so it doesn't get the all the chips all uh, messed up and the chips are pine if you put cedar in here it could kill them all if they eat it and it kind of is kind of toxic but um, so I put pine and then these paper towels here um, I'll just use a sprayer and get them kind of moist say two or three sprays like two on each and then that's for their water you could also put apples carrots that kind of thing in there for them to for the ingredient these pieces of cardboard are for them just to hide under and that's basically it and if you have any questions or comments leave them below like and subscribe thank you bye